First shots of Pfizer's COVID-19 vaccine being administered to healthcare workers, marking a pivotal moment in the country's long march to bring the virus under uh, control. Today, we're expecting news on Moderna's vaccine and uh, its attempt to get uh, emergency use application. I'm glad they didn't tell us it was going to be at least a year, Meg, you know, back in February or or March, I guess, right? But it's going to be over that uh, at this point. But it would have been even harder if we knew that, I think. But maybe progress. Progress. Tell us, Meg. Progress, Joe. We saw the first Americans getting their shots to protect them from COVID-19 yesterday. Healthcare workers across America who have been on the front lines of fighting this pandemic received these vaccinations. Uh, 500,000 doses rolled out from Pfizer's facility in Kalamazoo, Michigan, to all the states. In all, there were 145 shipments uh, that went out. Um, and 425 more are coming today to states, 66 tomorrow, and then this starts all over again for a total of about 3 million uh, total this week of the Pfizer-BioNTech vaccine. Uh, now, we are hearing of some delays for some states, some local reporting um, in Marin County, California, the Bay Area, for example. They said that they had a delay of a couple days. Baton Rouge, Louisiana, saying that they had a delay. Uh, yesterday, we heard from Operation Warp Speed uh, that at least as of 1130, when they had at the briefing, 55 locations of 145 had received their shipments, and they expected every place that was expecting Monday delivery to get them by 2 p.m. local. So we'll be waiting to hear updates on how those are going. General Gus Perna was asked what could go wrong here with this rollout, and he said something as simple as address mix-ups. If you didn't write the, you know, for Fort Collins, for example, if you abbreviated it, that could mix things up. He said things as severe as transportation accidents. Obviously, they are trying to uh, keep an eye out for and plan for. And of course, these incoming storms were going to get, guys. There's going to be a lot of snow here in the Northeast tomorrow, and they are keeping an eye on that and trying to plan for it. So at the same time that these shots are rolling out across the U.S., Moderna is gearing up to do just what Pfizer did last week with the FDA. This morning, and it could be within 45 minutes if it follows last week's pattern, we're going to get the briefing documents from the FDA on Moderna's vaccine. Those will tell us what the FDA is really thinking about in terms of safety and efficacy with this shot, and we will be digging through those documents and bringing you all the important things. That, of course, is ahead of this Thursday advisory committee meeting where the same committee that voted last week on the Pfizer shot will vote on the Moderna shot. And if the FDA follows the same pattern, we could see emergency use authorization for the second vaccine in the U.S. as soon as Friday night. That would trigger the shipment of 6 million doses to more than 3,000 locations of the Moderna vaccine next week, which would then be joining the Pfizer shot, making its way around the country, guys. So more and more people getting access to this vaccine. And over the weekend, guys, interestingly, the CDC is going to meet that that, uh, advisory committee on Saturday to vote on the Moderna vaccine if it gets emergency use authorization. And then Sunday, they're going to vote on the next priority groups after healthcare workers and long term care facility residents who should be next um, at the very top of who gets this vaccine. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.